Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and I've got myself a copy of Artoria Wurlitzer. Now, before I do this review, I have to declare a personal interest, and that is that I love Wurlitzers so much so that my dog is actually called Whirly. So, uh, always excited to get my hands on any version of a Wurlitzer piano. Now, Artoria are known for their fantastic emulations of vintage synths and stuff, so this is an interesting proposition. I'm going to give you a guided tour as I normally do and then I'm going to show you some of the stuff it comes with. Of course I'm also going to let you hear how it sounds. So I'm using it here in standalone but it has all the normal host versions in AU, VST and Artaz. If you're a Pro Tools user there doesn't seem to be an AAX version at the moment. But uh, what we have here is a sort of extended screen version and that's showing me the effects rack. But you can have a very small version if you want which is that version. So uh, that's kind of show and hide stuff to start with. Let me just give you a kind of guided tour then. We've got uh, a setup window here, which enables us to set up knobs in either circular or linear mode. Then we've got Whirl It's a Color. You've got a kind of cute white one. It's quite nice. Bit of carpet under it as well, which will probably help with the sound because it will kind of dampen down the, the reflections off the floor. And uh, for those of you who didn't realize I was actually joking then. Uh, then we've got other setups on it as well. So we've got the preferences here. And we can set up our device, uh, core audio, I'm using built-in line output. Then we've got buffer size. Go right down to 32 samples. And uh, what's helpful on this, I've not seen it on other devices before. It's actually telling me in milliseconds what the latency is going to be. So I like that feature. And I think other manufacturers should include that. Uh, for those of us who are too stupid to do the maths, that means me. So I'm going to go down to 2.9 milliseconds. Then I've got sample rates up to 96 kilohertz. I've got a test tone there, and as you can hear, it's it's loud. <laughs> but that just shows me I've got all, I've got audio, and then I've got all these different uh, devices I can use to play from. So I've chosen my Axiom Pro and my KeyStation Mini. Uh, then moving along, we've got the disk and file options. Then we've got the banks, and there's lots of banks there uh, by named people and you can go through and try some of those presets. Then we've got types here. So we can choose classic sounds or, or chill sounds. You can then, as you pull it out, go to all types, you see a huge menu there. And then we have a selection there where we can start going through the sounds. Uh, then we have save and other options like that we can use and import the presets from other users and export the presets that we've done as well. And then we can open the front panel. We've got EQ, we've got velocity curve, and then we've got all the stuff that we want, pickup distance, uh, stuff like that. So it's very comprehensive as you can see, release times and things like that. Then we've got our output options. We can choose to have direct Leslie uh, or guitar amp, which is nice. And so the FX opens there in a little rack. I love the graphics. Somebody's worked very hard on these graphics and, and uh, very nice. And so we can just open and close stuff as we need to. And then we have uh, a panic mode in case you get stuff stuck. And then you've got polyphonic up to 256 notes if you want to really hold some sustain on there. And then we have a CPU meter to tell us what sort of usage there, about 8%. I'm on a Mac Pro. Just up to about 9% there. Then we have the MIDI allocation. And this is really cool, actually. Uh, we've got MIDI channels. I've got it on all at the moment. Then we've got the MIDI CC settings. Very useful. So what I could do, for example, I could bring in... In fact, what I'm going to do is to go to out, direct out, I'm going to go to the Leslie cabinet. And so speed, let's say I want to control my speed from my uh, keyboard and I want to. So all I do is go to MIDI, click on the knob, and then I'm going to move my modulation wheel. And there we go. We now are using the mod wheel to control that. And then we could 
come out of that again and then we could add an effect in so like a phase is always nice in it and again I'm going to go to MIDI I'm going to choose the on off switch and that comes up there the controls there and I've now used my controller on my Axiom Pro so I now have two settings there I have my phaser on and off and you can see the red light going on now and I have my mod wheel controlling the speed of the Leslie so just put my mouse down let's have a listen to some sounds so this is the standard sound there we are with the Leslie Turn off the phaser and just leave the Leslie on now. And as you can hear, the response is very nice. Let's go through some of the presets there then. So that's the standard sound. called Cutter. That's a nice one as well. That's quite nice with auto wire and vocal filter. And don't forget the reverb, that lovely kind of lexicon uh, nod over in the corner there. We've got full reverb control. Okay, so there we are, that's the show and tell of it. And uh, I suppose the question you're all asking is, what what do I think? Well, it retails uh, UK for about 99 bucks, which is about $150, about 110 euro. And it's uh, an excellent emulation, as it always is. As you can see, it comes packed with features, packed with functionality. And you can also download a 14-day full demo from Artoria. So the best thing for you to do, I suppose, I would say, is go to the site and check it out yourself and make your own mind up. Uh, I think it's great. Uh, I think it's a really nice piano. I suppose my only concern would be uh, uh, every man and his dog has made a, a version of a piano at some point. So that's not to uh, decry what Artoria have done here. And uh, some emulations are good and some emulations are bad. I think this is a great emulation. I think it's very playable, very tweakable. And uh, I don't think it would be very hard for anybody to, to get a great Wurlitzer piano vintage sound out of this. So my advice is go check it out. And I think it's a great value for money. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.